okay, to show the effects of pressure, okay, we are thinking of more of uh, hands-on approach again. Okay, so I'll leave the time to do that. Okay, so we'll basically, yeah, this is just one of the lessons we can see, uh, which helps uh, people to engage in the learning. Uh, so what I will do is uh, I will just invite one of the students to come out. Does that happen to you? Anybody on the stage to come out and talk to you? Sorry, I don't know. So uh, what you can do so is uh, we will ask the demonstrator to put in the same laws now. Uh, uh, these are just daily uh, equipment you can get from the sub uh, So just sit somewhere in the middle. Maybe no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> say strong enough. We use the other that is So now, <laughs> say student. Okay. Say so student. So say student. Yeah. You now hit with the same force. Can you know the term? Yeah, say the physics. Uh, terms with the demonstration. So we're going to ask the same student to now come up. Now that you are able to keep with the whole, now you can pass this around and let everybody get up and uh, touch a date. <laughs> <laughs> so now the same student will ask that uh, he or she strike the same position uh, with about the same force. So then before you do that, you go to the class to predict what will happen. Because yeah. this is using the physics uh, teaching kind of uh, idea where you ask the student to predict, to observe, then later explain. So I'll tell you what I'm saying. Who must be on the table? <laughs> 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 you can call the record. Uh. <laughs> 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 okay, so now you can ask the student to come up. When you're ready, student, carry on. The same form, the same form. Yeah. Then you ask the class okay, to observe what happens at the bottom. <laughs> so why is there a difference? Why did the first time the box was penetrated through? Okay, then it engaged the student to think in terms of pressure. Is it because of uh, what happens to the pressure in the area? So basically, you let them see and you know, hold the things. I think they'll get an idea that. What do you all get a sense of demonstration? You get a sense there's something going on. Despite applying the same uh, force, okay, but it doesn't break. So what is in play? Any engage with students to think about pressure? Okay, thanks. Right, so. See, this is a constant force. Huh? Student A exert constant force. Now the area is so small. Okay? Plus it hits uh, this uh, cover from a certain area. So now, if you use a certain idea called uh, pressure, which is force divided by area, so you use the same force, right? If you, okay. you can make, if you keep the force constant, but the area is small, or which is in the first case where the student strike with all her might and then causes a breakage in the in the cupboard. Okay. So if you have a small area, you find that the pressure is extremely large. Question, question. Yep. Would the second As far as what the student, uh, uh, the lady has here mentioned, uh, it is a little bit different if you have the, the appendage here attached to the hammer because now then the student will be unable to exert the same force. So I have to keep for demonstration purposes the same weight for the hammer. Whereas I change the area, I play with the area because this is a hard object, 
So basically now the area is spread over. Uh, so now basically the area where the force is exerted is now applied over uh, an extended area, not like this. So now this is the area as compared to uh, this was the previous area. So by increasing the area, by keeping the force constant, you find that the pressure here is spread out. So it doesn't cause the cupboard to break that easily. So I hope you understand the physics. <laughs> <laughs>